take the front of your shorts and take the pocket piece that you have cut out and put your right sides together lining up your notches so you should ha all have notches and making sure all of your raw edges meet you're going to go ahead and pin from here all the way around to here so you're pinning around the curve now you have pinned around your curve take this to your sewing machine and you're going to go ahead and stitch from here all the way around to here where you have pinned when you are sewing make sure that you line the raw edge of your fabric up with the one centimeter line on your sewing machine you're going to go ahead and sew a one centimeter seam around that curve that you have just pinned now you have sewn a one centimeter seam around the curve ensuring that you backstitch at both ends take your pins out of your fabric and take your work over to the iron place your work on the ironing board face down as you're going to go ahead and press open the seam you have just sewn make sure your iron is on a high setting as you'll all be using cotton or linen or a cotton linen blend now that you have pressed this seam open take the pocket and fold it to the inside of the shorts you're going to go ahead and press along this curve making sure that your seam is nice and crisp on the edge you do not want to see any of your shorts front on in this pocket piece and you do not want to see any of your pocket bending over onto the front so a nice crisp seam right on the edge is what I'm looking for go ahead and press and then take this back to your sewing machine I have the pocket and the front over at the sewing machine and I'm going to go ahead and top stitch around this curved edge when I top stitch I am lining up the edge of my fabric with the edge of my presser foot I have also moved my needle all the way over to the right hand side so I get a nice small top stitch approximately two to three mils out from this edge make sure that you back stitch and it needs to be nice and straight as we are going to see this top stitching this is what the top stitch edge will look like when it is complete nice and straight and even the entire way around that curve take your front and your pocket piece over to the iron and place the front down so your pocket piece sorry pocket piece is looking directly back up at you you're going to go ahead and fold this pocket piece nearly in half lining up your notches at the bottom and at the sides once you have everything lined up beautifully so this should sit within this side seam and it will stick over the edge of that pocket go ahead and press along this seam now that you have ironed this edge nice and flat you're going to go ahead and pin along the bottom of the pocket when you pin make sure you're only pinning through the two layers of the pocket not through the front once you have pinned take this over to your sewing machine and you're going to go ahead and stitch a one centimeter seam allowance from the edge of this pocket to the other edge of this pocket before you start sewing the bottom of the pocket shut make sure that you have moved your needle back into the center position on your sewing machine 
and that you are only sewing through the two layers of the pocket, not through the front. Make sure the front has been moved well away from where you are stitching. Now that you have sewn your one centimetre seam along the bottom of the pocket, you're going to go ahead and overlock this edge. Remember when you overlock, only cut off one to two, two mils. You're only trying to remove these frayed edges. Now that we've overlocked along the bottom of the pocket, we're going to go ahead and turn your pocket and your front piece over. And we need it to be lying nice and flat with all of your notches lining up. Now that your front is sitting nice and flat, you're going to go ahead and pin just along the side of where the pocket is sitting and along the top. And you're going to go ahead and baste from the bottom of the pocket up to the side of the pocket and then across the top of the pocket. And when we say baste, you need to change your uh, stitch length from 2.5 to 5. Do not back stitch, as this is only a temporary stitch. This is to hold your pocket in place while you work on the rest of your shorts. When you baste, make sure that your stitch length is set to 5. You do not back stitch, and that you follow. Uh, the edge of the presser foot with the fabric. You have now completed the first pocket. Go ahead and do this on the second pocket, making sure that it is symmetrical and looks identical to the first. As you will see, they're both on the front of your shorts.